We know any changes to our database needs to be saved to our database. These changes are sent to the database log first, and then the checkpoint process saves them to the database. If we backed up the log and all its changes, then that backup file would have the latest database information. What if we restored that log backup to another server with the same database on it? Having your data in two places is always some level of high availability. The source server contains the primary database. In technical terms, the server that is holding the primary database is called the primary server. The receiving server has the secondary database and is called the secondary server. This figure shows a log shipping configuration with three destinations or three secondary databases. Since we can log ship to multiple servers, the backup location is shared by the three secondary servers. All secondary servers can get a copy of the log backup and then they perform the restore. The secondary databases on the secondary servers can be in one of two possible states. In one state, the secondary database gets restored and recovered, which allows queries to be run against them. In the other state, the database is restored but not recovered and queries will not run. Generally, the secondary database is in an unrecovered state. We can choose to keep the secondary server's database in a standby state. In the standby state, we can have reporting applications benefit by using the secondary databases. It takes time for the logs to get shipped and processed. The latency or delay of the secondary servers getting their information from the primary is defined as the interval to which the transaction log backups are taken on the primary and how fast it gets copied to the secondaries and then restored on them. It is possible that a secondary might have a problem and stop getting logs from the primary. When this happens, we will want to know about it, but we don't want to keep watching it for ourselves. We can set up a server to watch for any unexpected delays in the log shipping process. We can hire a server to watch over our log shipping topology. So we have a concept called a monitor server, which is responsible to check the health of the copy, backup, and restore jobs for log shipping. If the jobs are not running properly, then the secondary database would get pretty far behind the primary. No longer having up-to-date data on the secondary kind of defeats the purpose of setting up log shipping. So how far behind is too far behind? Well, based on the various thresholds defined, the monitor server can raise alerts so that corrective action can be taken. It's advisable to use a server other than the primary or the secondary to detect the problems on either of the server types. One monitoring server can be used to monitor many primary-secondary pairs in log shipping. To summarize, log shipping is made up of four operations which are handled by dedicated SQL Server agent jobs, a backup job, a copy job, a restore job, and just in case something's getting too far behind, there's an alert job. The backup job is created on the primary server and, as its name suggests, it performs transaction log backups of the database. Additionally, this job can also delete the old backup files and history information based on the retention period or how long you want to keep the old backups. The copy job is created on every secondary server that needs a copy from the primary. This job copies the log backup of the primary from the shared disk backup location the restore job is also created on each secondary server and it performs the restores of the current backup and deletes any old backups that it doesn't need based on the retention period. So the secondary server does the copy and the restore of the logs from the primary server. The alert job is created on the monitor server to raise alerts if backup, copy, or restore operations are not completed successfully in a specified period that's monitored between the primary and secondary servers. In the absence of a monitor server, local jobs are created on the primary server for a backup alert, and local jobs are created on the secondary servers for a copy and restore alerts. And 
that was chapter 2.3 on log shipping concepts. Our next item, chapter 2.4, replication concepts. <laughs>